Okay, uh, Ronan Hart again, um, February 6, 2023, at the Won't Back Down protest inside Tiger Hall now, and I'm speaking with... Izzy Myers. Um, Do you want to yeah. say, you know, what you're doing here today, basically? Um, I'm just one of the general protesters here. We are protesting against um, the new U.S. President, uh, Ben Sass. Today's his first day in office, even though he's not actually in his office. Um, typical, yeah. yeah. Um, what is it about Ben Sass specifically that gives you some concerns? Um, he's a bigot. Um, he was a former Republican senator for Nebraska, and although he has been hailed as kind of a moderate Republican, um, mainly for not supporting Trump, he um, voted against gay marriage. He has spoken on the record about um, wanting to limit reproductive care. He's spoken on the record about wanting to limit um, medical uh, resources for trans people doing medical transitions, and he has said very concerning things about Asian Americans. So I don't think he's a representative of the UF student body, the UF um, alumni, the UF faculty. He's not really a representative of anyone in the Gator community except for a very small, um, nefarious population that I don't think should stand for all of us. And I think UF can do better, um, especially at the top five university. Do you think this is very much connected to the larger like education political situation in Florida right now? For sure, yeah. Um, especially with like what's been going on from uh, Ron DeSantis and the powers that be in Tallahassee, we've seen a lot of very concerning, sorry, concerning things happen uh, regarding higher education. Um, there was uh, the Stop Woke Act, there was the Don't Say Gay Bill, there are efforts to like uh, limit and basically um, ban uh, diversity and equity and inclusion in education and like the book bannings that are happening in like Manatee County public schools for example. Um, it's all just showing that um, Florida and honestly the U.S. as a whole but especially Florida is becoming just like this very fascist environment especially within education and I find that really concerning because if there's fascism, fascism oh my goodness, within education it's only going to spread because if we're learning fascism and we're not learning like actual history actual sociology actual literally anything uh it's gonna like really change the political climate of this country in a very worrying way one of the speakers when we were outside um compared this to like pre-world war ii germany and i think that's a kind of fair comparison so um if that goes to say anything, it's, it's a very troubling time. Is there anything you're hoping to see come out of this demonstration today? Honestly, um, not to sound overly pessimistic, but I don't really think there's going to be any changes as far as like what the Board of Trustees does, what the administration does, what Ben Sass himself does. But, um, and I kind of spoke about this earlier when I was speaking outside at the outside protest, I do think that this can be like a moment for us to show like that the UF community is not Ben Sass. Um, and it's not these fascist bigots. We are still here. Marginalized students are here. Still here. Minority students are here. Um, leftist students are here, etc. Um, and there's still a place for us at UF, at least for now. And we just need to work on protecting that and expanding it and making people who feel like they don't have a place at UF understand that they still do. Um, any, any more parting thoughts just on this demonstration? Um, maybe the plan going forward, anything like that? Yeah, um, I think it's just important for us to keep fighting, obviously, um, join an organization, join a union, whatever um, it might be, join a multicultural organization, or YDSA, or GAU, or UFF, and um, obviously, like, this isn't said a lot, but, like, we don't back down, um, so we can't, like, relinquish to the fascist controls um, at UF or in Florida or in the country. Um, so we just need to try to be stronger than them. Okay. Thank you so much for talking to me. I appreciate it.